Good morning everyone! On this blessed morning, I have decided to reattempt making a charcuterie board. Since last time, I wasn't happy with losing my carefully routed edges. However, I was all out of walnuts, so I had to resort to using locust wood. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you, locust wood is insanely hard. My hand got really tired cutting it compared to anything I did before. But I still managed to cut out an apple shape from it. Why apple? No idea, just felt like it in a moment. Following that, I proceeded to use my trim bit to make sure that the edges were as smooth as possible. Even that presented a bit of a challenge for me, since the memory of me using walnuts and the ease of using walnut was still fresh in my hands. So when it came time to use my router again, I set my router to the highest possible speed setting and tried to give it nice edges. This wood was very unwieldy and due to that I actually burnt it in pieces with my router bit. My bit is sharp, so it's not a problem, and I don't think it w the burns were caused due to that. I was just being extra scared of the wood and moving a lot slower than I usually would, and that extra friction caused burns in some places. Once that was done, I proceeded to sand the whole thing, but this time starting with 120 grit and going all the way to 400. Remember last time I used 80 grit and I lost my carefully routed edges on the charcuterie board. And unfortunately, this one failed too. All those carefully routed edges were gone. Next time I will try something even better, stay tuned for that. Also, since the apple shape had hard edges, I used the Dremel to smooth it out because the router bits couldn't properly get in there. Now that my failed piece was ready, I proceeded to soak it up in Osmo cutting board oil. And that's where one more fail happens. I didn't know that the oil had to be wiped quickly. I accidentally left it overnight and ended up with a horrible time wiping it. Some paper towel I used to soak up excess oil actually ended up being stuck to the board and I couldn't remove it. So this is a clip you see here which is not part of the shorter videos. I got so frustrated with this Osmo oil, I sanded it off on top. On the bottom it was acceptable. So after sanding everything from 150 to 400 grit again, I proceeded to give Osmo oil a shot again. And again, I was very unsatisfied with results. I don't know what I did wrong, but I might not be using it in the future anymore. But it is what it is. I was done with this board. I do hope you enjoyed watching this, even though I failed so badly and I didn't enjoy it as much. If you did enjoy this, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I try to release videos every Saturday morning. If you have any advice on how to avoid fails of what you saw or maybe if there is a better way to use Osmo oil or just want to say hi, then that's welcome too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Saturday with another project. Bye bye!